Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at some additional functionality that can be added to your database using Visual Basic commands. In this case, we're going to use send object. Send object is the command that, as the name would suggest, allows you to email an object to someone. You can email a table. You can email the results of a query. So let's get right into it. So we've got the uh, all reports form open. So click on view design just expand this a little bit we'll add a new button and we're going to cancel that because we're going to manually do this with some visual basic so let's just change this to we'll call this custom reports and we'll just expand that button a little bit now let's go to event and we'll click on the ellipsis, click on code builder, and here we are. Now we're going to do several different iterations of this. In this first one, we're just going to have the pre-existing query run and attach to an email so you get the idea of how it works. We're going to then do a modification where we're going to create a whole new query and the query results will be customized to the recipient. So you're going to choose a name from a list, and it does and it both runs a custom report for that person and emails it to them. So really uh, good quality automation. And again, it's for the end user, so they don't have to know any programming. They're just going to choose a name from a drop-down box, hit send, and that will do it for them. So let's look at this. So DOCMD dot send object. You can see it right there in the list. Space AC and got different types of objects you can send. We're going to send a query. What's the object name? The object name in quotes is whatever the name is over here exactly as it appears so EOD report comma what's the format AC format XLS who's it going to so for the moment we're just gonna put in a single email address but like I said, in the later iteration, we're going to turn it into a variable. So right now, it's going to be hard-coded who this is going to, which is clearly not what you're going to want long-term, but I just want to demonstrate the functionality. So we'll just put in fake name at live.com just to fulfill um, that this is a mandatory field. So we have to fill it in. CC, we're not going to CC it to anyone. BCC, we're not going to BCC it to anyone. Subject, again in quotes, we'll call this uh, today's report. So that is in the subject. Now, for the actual message text, just want to mention this isn't formatted, the actual text message. So it's just going to be plain text, you know, capital letters, punctuations, but you're not going to be able to do bold or italics or anything like that. So attached are today's reports edit message very important if you do true the email opens up and gives you a chance to review it we're going to do that because I want to demonstrate the functionality particularly when we have the customized uh, uh, query where it's customized to the recipient but once you get this down to science if you don't need to do that you can just do faults for edit message and it just automatically goes sent out you don't see it open up it just sends out so we'll put in true for now because we do want it to be edited that's it so let's save that save this and let's run it and there you go so here it shows the email address here's the attachment I added another entry because if you recall, this report is set up um, to look at whatever today's date is. So if you open that up, 
There's the one from today. Like I said, I added that earlier. And here's the body message. So it's that easy. So uh, very simple as far as sending an email out via uh, Visual Basic. But like I said, the main limitation is this. It's just plain text. So if you want like images or um, formatting, rich text, bold, underline, can't do it. You'd have to use another method. And we'll just close this out now. Uh, what's going to happen is closing this out is going to actually make the database crash, or at very least generate an error, because you have not completed um, the task. See, that's what I was talking about. So, um, end. All right, so database didn't close, but it did indeed give you an error because you did not send it. Uh, the reason why it did not totally crash is because it's not in the runtime. So if this was an ACCDR file instead of an ACCDB file, it would have indeed closed out. But we'll get to error handling in a, in a different video. So now the next step is going to make a new report that looks at the... Uh, the person who's going to be the recipient, filter it on their name and send it to them, which then would, would let you uh, send out a whole bunch of these. Jane sees hers, John sees his, Mary sees hers, and that way you hit a single button, but everyone gets their own customized report. So that's what we're going to do next. So for adding the email selector, Let's take a look at employee IDs. So it's the employee email column. I believe I also added this in between videos uh, in preparation for this tutorial. So it's no big deal. You can just add a column that you have email addresses stored in. These are all obviously fake. So we'll just close this. So we're going to go back into design view. And we need a drop down box, also known as a combo box. So we're going to take that. And we're going to put it here. So I want the combo box to get values from another table or query. That's what I want. I want it to use, as we just said, employee IDs. I want employee email used. And then we'll do next, next. Extend that out a little bit so there aren't any clipping issues. Next. Next. And finish. Now we may wind up changing this because, again, this is an iterative process. I want to demonstrate uh, in steps how this can be done. So now what we're going to do is this object is named... Combo 5. So here's what we're going to do. Click on Custom Reports. And we're going to go to Event. And we're going to click on the ellipsis. And this is what we're going to change. Rather than being a string, rather than a fixed value, we're going to put Combo 5 there. So how does that look? Me dot, and it even recognizes it, Combo 5. So we save that. Close that. Save that, view it, email address. So there's all the emails that's taken right from here. So again, this is what I was talking about, um, about not having to manually enter into, into information. As names are added and removed from here, they'll automatically be changed here. So um, really important that as you uh, grow your database, that that kind of linking uh, saves so much work. And particularly when you're uh, sending out, uh, say it's confidential information, uh, you don't want to be sending information out to people who say their access level has changed. So that's the kind of thing that we stored in uh, your employee table. So we'll just choose, we'll choose Claire. Okay, now again, custom reports and watch what happens.
It's now going out to clear. Just like that, you changed a hard-coded uh, string variable, a uh, string, excuse me, string value into a variable. And we'll do another one just to prove that it wasn't lock. And there you go. So I think that's a really good place to end for this video because what we've done is we've gone, we, we've demonstrated how to send an email out with an attachment. Uh, we've shown how to easily link out to your employees or whatever list that you need to send it to. Maybe something that's being sent to clients, customers, uh, vendors, whatever. Um, so we went from being a fixed value to a variable in a variable uh, that dynamically changes. So as this changes, so will these. So we're gonna stop there because the next part gets a little bit more complex because then we're really starting to combine disciplines at that point because we have to customize the query so that it looks at this and then modifies it accordingly. So I kinda wanna stop here. That way you guys can integrate this into your project and then we can build on top of that in the next video. Okay, so that's do it.